Hello there, and thank you so much for joining me today. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at Lifestyle Balance Solutions. I'm also creator of the Balanced Living Academy, the Healthy Eating Blueprint, and author of the Healthy Fuels Cookbook. So thank you so much for joining me today. This is our live Q&A, Ask Dr. Stacy. So on this program, I love to share with you how to balance your body and your life in all aspects naturally for better body function and enhanced vitality. So this is a live Q&A. I thank you for joining me here. You can always submit any of your questions right here in the comment box. I can see them right on my chat screen here so we can interact live right here in real time. And also, you can also view these episodes Tuesdays and Thursdays is when I broadcast live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 Eastern. that's 9 15 a.m pacific so you can adjust your time zones accordingly and join me here on Tuesdays and Thursdays now if those times aren't convenient for you then by all means come and join me on my Facebook page just go to lifestyle balance solutions and there you will see all of our previous episodes right there on that page they're already loaded there for you today is episode number 67 so we have many different topics that we have covered in the past so all of those are ready for you to view right now and if you're not on Facebook not to worry all of the episodes are also on my YouTube channel just go to Dr. Stacy Cooper on on YouTube and there you will see all of the previous episodes loaded there for you they are all tagged by the topic and titled so you can view anything that you're interested in and you can pick what is you want to see and let you more information about. And as always, be sure to be straight through the website. You can also email me. Just go Dr. Stacy at drstacycooper.com and you can email me directly any questions, anything that you would like covered in these episodes, I am happy to share it with you. So by now today I did want to share with you what is balanced living. And this is part of the reason why I created Lifestyle Balance Solutions in the first place, because it is a lifestyle and it's about balancing all aspects of your life. A lot of times people feel that health and wellness comes from how you fuel your body, what you feed your body with, which is very true. Think of your body just like an engine. And if you put diesel fuel in a gasoline engine, it's not going to run well. It's not going to run effectively or efficiently. So what you put in your body is truly important. And I do talk a lot about all of those aspects as to how to fuel your body better. And that's what I teach, is how to swap out the bad fuels for great fuels, so you favorites and enjoy them. We just make them a little bit differently and they are so delicious and your body thanks you so much because now it can function at a much higher level and then life is just so much better. But in regards to lifestyle balance solutions, in my office, I've been practicing for over 20 years now. And so many of my patients and clients come in with the same question, getting such conflicting information from so many different sources, whether it was from the media, from the TV, from newspapers, from magazines, from people they talked with, from their friends and neighbors, from their doctors. And they were just so lost as to how to make heads or tails of it. And that is why I then created Lifestyle Balance Solutions and the Balanced Living Academy so that I can share with you and with anyone who is interested health and wellness information that is direct and to the point I do what happens inside so you can understand the mechanisms and the processes that happen through physiology and anatomy and cellular metabolism and biochemistry in the body I've studied all of these topics and these subjects in depth with the training that I've received and the ongoing education that I continue to upgrade with. And so when I'm down into easy nuggets that you can easily digest and absorb, then you then have the understanding as to how your body functions on the inside. Then I provide for you information about how to fuel your body the best so it can function optimally. And now it makes your choices that much easier and also it has nothing to do with willpower. Now, it's not just me telling you, oh, don't eat bread with your pasta. 
Now you have the understanding as to what happens on the inside. And now you choose to not eat bread with your pasta. And we swap out those bad fuels. So you still get to have an amazing Italian dinner with a, a pasta dish that is wheat free. And we talk about the hazards of wheat, what it does on the inside, and how you can swap it out so you still don't miss a thing of all your favorites. So balanced living comes from not just balancing how your body's functioning physically, because you can fuel your body well 100% of the time. But if other areas of your life are stressed, this will affect the function of your body. And so that's why lifestyle balance is truly important. What this means to me is balancing my home life and my work life and my exercise life and my relationship life and my financial life and my extracurricular life and my children's lives and my spouse. So our list could go on and on and on. So balance can be very difficult to find at times. And oftentimes, as women, we do tend to be more of supporters and givers and doers. And we tend to put ourselves oftentimes not even on the list, sometimes at the bottom of the list, but sometimes we're not even on that list of priorities. And so it's truly important to switch up your thinking because if you don't provide the best environment for you and you don't help your body to function better, then pretty soon you're going to be giving so much that you will not have recharged your batteries at all. And then you will be in need of care you will need to be looked after. You will not have the health that you rely on and expect to have in order to be able to give to others. So when you do put yourself higher on the priority list and create more balance for your life so that you can recharge your batteries, this is then going to give you so much more energy because you've taken care of yourself first, which will then enable you to provide for others so much more than what you can when you're functioning at a depleted level. So balance is truly important. So when I talk about balance within my life, it is important to either assign times or schedules or at least plan for all the things that you want to incorporate in a day. Now we know that exercise is important for physical function of the body. It's also very important for mental function of the body. Physical exercise is a great stress reliever. Now, if you don't make time to exercise, the day can get past you in an instant almost, and then you realize it's time for bed, but you haven't exercised yet. So when you plan for this and actually create time for this, that is when it's going to happen. That's when it's going to get accomplished. That's when you're going to not beat up on yourself because another day went by where you didn't do what you wanted to do, didn't take care of yourself in the fashion that you wanted. And so now we're getting rid of all that self guilt and loathing as well. So when you plan for it or schedule it, then it actually happens. So it's the same thing as if you have a dentist appointment, which is self care. If you have a chiropractic appointment, which is self care and helping your body to function the best that it can and remove that interference to the nervous system. If you have any other appointments, whether it be for a hair appointment, you make appointments for that. So make appointments for yourself and the priorities that you want to accomplish. Even if it is meditation time, self reflection time, this is really important because when you start your day jumping out of bed and your feet hit the floor running, but you're running for others and not yourself, then this is for yourself and the things that you want to accomplish and the life that you want to live. So meditation time is also important to make an appointment with yourself in your day timer, in your calendar, in your book, wherever it needs to happen so that it does get taken care of. Now you also have hard entries, and I talk about all of these things at the Balanced Living Academy that is coming up, and also in the Clean Living Formula, my five-step Clean Living Formula. And step number two is learn the plan. And the plan is how you organize your day or your week to incorporate all the things that you want to be able to accomplish. So in the plan, we know that there are things that are hard entries. These are things that aren't really negotiable with your time. So some of you who work a nine to five job, that is a hard entry in your plan. 
because that block needs to be blocked off in your calendar, in your plan, because that is a place that you need to be for a specific period of time. So you know you can't really put in anything else during that nine to five. Your lunch hour is a different story. So lunch hour, you can actually take time to exercise if you so choose. It often is for me, if I wait till the end of the day, that's when the kids' activities are often happening and I'm shuttling back and forth and that sort of thing. So it is more difficult for me to find time to exercise then. Then it gets to be evening. Then it gets to be bedtime. So my best time of the day to exercise is first thing in the morning. So think about that. When will it work for you to incorporate some physical activity into your day? If you choose to do it at night, but you know there's no place that that's ever going to happen, then you're already self-sabotaging yourself. So the time of day that you know is doable, your plan. Put it in your calendar and get it scheduled. That's how we work the plan. The same is true for anything else that you want to incorporate. So sometimes in our hectic lives, we have four teenage children, and so our evening schedules can be quite tricky. And it is very easy to become two ships passing in the hallway, really connecting with each person within the family. So I have made it a priority to plan that because balance in my relationships is also very important to me. And so I plan a specific time with each of the kids and with my husband too, separately and individually to spend quality time with each other. Even if it's just a 20 minute car ride somewhere where we can actually have a conversation in private just to share with each other how the day is going, how life events are shaping up, and what's changing for them and stay connected. Another great way to do this is during group activities. So if you're playing a game together, whether it be a board jigsaw puzzle or a game of cards at the kitchen table, this is a great way to stay engaged. You're doing something actively together, but you're also sharing time together and great conversations happen during these great events. So that's something that else that you can incorporate into your lifestyle. Just start introducing it and see how things unfold. I like to incorporate into the plan is my own relaxation time. We have two horses and I love to ride. And it is very easy for, to fill your day with other activities, whether it be straightening up the house or tending to the garden or meal preparation or whatever. And again, before you know it, it's evening and bedtime. So on my days that I'm not in the office, it is in my schedule as a hard entry. This is a commitment to myself. And that's the difference between hard entries and soft entries that I talk about in learning the plan and balanced living. Hard entries are those that are inked in. They are commitments that I have made to myself or to particular people like my children, my husband, my family, or um, to my office and those types of uh, activities that, I, that need to get done. So those are hard entries. My horseback riding is also a hard entry in my calendar. It's scheduled, it's planned, and that way it happens. And I feel so much better for having done it and spending time with the animals that I love and just being out in nature and breathing in the air and reflecting on my day, my week, my month, whatever's going on in life at that time. And it's a great way to open up the creative juices because you're away from all the distractions and you can just let your mind work and be open and free. Now, another thing is soft entries in the plan. So soft entries are things that maybe invitations that you receive, which are a little bit more flexible and adjustable and um, can be moved or shifted without anyone feeling slighted or things like that. So soft entries might be, um, you know, a movie that I'd really like to see and we'll get it from the library or something like that so we can have a family movie night. And so I'll put it on the list of things to do. And if it happens, then fantastic. We can all make it there together and enjoy that particular movie and, and share it together. Um, other soft entries would be maybe a, uh, an event or a, 
a celebration or something that is maybe not within the immediate family. You know, maybe an invitation that you receive from friends and you can mark that into your calendar, but it's a little bit more flexible. You know, if it's an open house and it's available for five hours, you don't have to attend for the whole five hours, but you certainly want to make time to make your appearance and share time and, and stories with each other there. So those are some examples of soft entries that you can put in the plan. So in regards to balanced living, it is important to balance all aspects of your life, not just the foods that you eat and to balance your body, but the exercise that you provide for your body. Because if you're just doing one type of exercise, your body will get accustomed to that. It will adapt to that particular environment that you're providing for your body and it will plateau. So it is important to change up the types of exercise that you want to provide for your body and so that you're challenging different muscle groups at different times and keeping your body balanced in regards to its physical function so that it's not uh, injuring wear and tear in a particular fashion, but it's getting balanced exercise in all different modes. So swimming is a great exercise to exercise many muscle groups at the same time. It's a uh, brain, so you're not creating joint compression, um, like running on pavement or things like that. And also you're working against the resistance of the water. So it's a great, great exercise. Now yoga is another fabulous exercise that stretches the body in both directions to create more balance and open up the joint and maintain mobility within the system. So I recommend those two, but find what you like to do, because if you don't like doing a particular exercise, there's already your first barrier and you're already self-sabotaging yourself. If you choose something, but you really don't like doing it, now it's a chore and you'll find any excuse in the book to get out of doing that chore. If you actually enjoy a particular form of exercise, get to it, enjoy it, use it. Your body will love it and it will function much better because of it and you'll actually have a great time doing it. And invite friends along. Accountability partners are so much fun because now you're not just copping out on yourself but you're accountable to somebody else and so they will help encourage you on the particular days that you may not necessarily feel like going along with it. And that way you can support each other and that way you will be able to continue on your goal with each other and you're being accountable. So that truly is a huge benefit, is having a partner who can help support you, who is on the journey with you. And if you'd like more information about that, I'm always happy to help you along, share with you, and support you. So be sure to contact me for that. And now also, exercise is what we talked about. So quiet time, quieting the mind and quieting the body is also very important. So we talk about meditation time, reflecting, also continued learning, opening your mind to new opportunities, new possibilities, new information. I always said, so long as you learn something new, you can take the rest of the day off. And I am a true believer in that. And when you stop learning, then life isn't being lived. Life is being lived outside your comfort zone. So when you're learning new things or new activities and new experiences, this is when you truly feel alive. So for more information about all of this, I share all aspects of this during the Balanced Living Academy. And I've created this two-day event just coming up very soon. You can just go to that there shown on your screen, balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash live, L-I-V-E, and L-I-V-E is in capital block letters. That will take you to the information page and registration page for the upcoming event. It's happening in about the next four or five, you know, five weeks from now. So you still have time to register. We are in the early bird registration phase right now. So it's a super savings. Great information will be shared with you at the event in regards to what your body needs, how your body functions on the inside, what your body does with what you give it. So now you have an understanding of the stuff that you're putting in your mouth, what happens on the inside, and then how to swap that out as well. We also have a full session on quieting the mind and quieting the body. We have a chair yoga session that's included in the program so that you can participate, you can see what it feels like, and you can take that with you home right away and start implementing it in your daily activities, at your desk, at work, whatever you need.
We also talk about stretching versus strengthening in different exercises. We provide a full head to toe stretching routine, which is already written out in your manual for the Balanced Living Academy. And it's demonstrated as well so that you can start to incorporate healthy stretches head to toe for yourself each and every day. We also discuss all five steps of the clean living formula, not just the step number two of learn the plan. So the clean living formula is there for you and shares you, shows you how to balance all aspects of your life. We also have a special guest available with us, Sheila Margaret Mercer, and we are going to be incorporating a special session at the Balanced Living Academy where we are going to be incorporating some great creativity that's going to come from within. And this truly is a great expression of all of your hidden talents that you may not even realize that you had. And it's going to be so much fun. So check out the page there, balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash live. And also it's going to be held in St. George, Ontario, Canada. Now, for this, I have presented this event to great audiences. This will be the seventh presentation that I will be doing. And for those of you that aren't able to join us live in St. George, Ontario in September, then be sure to check out the Balanced Living Academy online. Because I have presented this previously, I have recorded the entire session. And you can see all the information, and if you'd like to receive it, you can just go to the URL, balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash join, J-O-I-N. When you go to balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash join, all the information is there, and you can purchase the Balanced Living Academy videos online, and you can enjoy it directly from your own home, wherever you happen to be located. So you can check out that URL. If you have any questions, I'm always here to help. You can just email me directly, drstacy at drstacycooper.com and send me any of your questions, comments, concerns in regards to any episodes that you would like to hear about on Ask Dr. Stacy. And if you create, if you find value from what I'm creating here and sharing with you, then please be sure to like, send some hearts, some love, and to share it with your friends and family as well. Because if they're your friends and family, then oftentimes they have similar interests to you. And if you enjoyed hearing and learn from this, then they will as well. So I would truly appreciate it. And they would too. On my website at drstacycooper.com, I have a free two-part video series listed right there for you. It is about eliminating your hidden energy drainers. And in this age of mass information, mass misinformation and miscommunication and confusion, I have created a free video series where you can learn how to eliminate your hidden energy drainers. Sometimes it's a common notion that people think that caffeine is necessary to start their day or they just couldn't survive without it. When in actual fact, caffeine is just a stimulant which is quickly metabolized and actually leads to a greater crash and burn than it does the high that you ever get in the first place. And so caffeine being a stimulant also stresses your adrenal system and cortisol levels are increased when you have caffeine. This is the hidden energy drainers that I discuss and I also share with you how you can combat it and how you can eliminate it and how you can increase your energy in other natural ways to boost your body function for enhanced vitality. So be sure to check out that on the website. Just go to drstacycooper.com and you can enter your name and email address right there on the page and receive the video series for free. You'll get immediate access straight to your email inbox. There's also a brief um, mind map that you can print off and share, post it somewhere prominent in your home, whether it be on the fridge as a gentle reminder, some of the choices that you can start to make to improve the to improve the vitality of your body or healthy living. So I hope you enjoyed what I shared with you today on balanced living. And perhaps you can start implementing a few of the suggestions that I've made on today's episode of Ask Dr. Stacy. As always, I love sharing health and wellness information and how to fuel your body better naturally for enhanced vitality and better body function. 
to be again next time. Ask doctors. Look forward to seeing you soon. Fantastic day. Bye-bye.